Okay, so for the purpose of this video, we're demonstrating a new construct of the external fixation for the purpose of metatarsal lengthening. In this video, I'm showing you my new construct, which has three sandwich clamps. So there is two over here that's responsible for lengthening the metatarsal. So these two will start separating from each other and adding length to the metatarsal, which is the basis for the brachymetatarsia. The metatarsal is short, so we're uh, cutting the bone in this segment and start separating it so the bone gets lengthened. And in this segment, I'm showing you my new construct, which has a third sandwich clamp. This third sandwich clamp has two pins. For the purpose of this video, I just put one pin, but usually two pins that goes into the toe itself. So this is the fourth toe. It goes into the toe itself. This sandwich clamp and these pins are responsible to keep the joint integrity intact, meaning as we are lengthening, we're not compressing the joint any longer. As we're lengthening the, the metatarsal, this clamp is also taking the toe with the segment of the metatarsal. That way, the joint does not get disrupted, does not compress, and the toe does not dislocate or rise up or down or to each side. It stays where it's supposed to stay and moves with the external fixation as we are lengthening. With this construct, the joint stays very healthy and intact. And when we are done with the lengthening and remove the external fixation, these patients can move their toes easily and there is no need for any additional surgeries. Most of the complications with the metatarsal lengthening is solved with this new construct, with this new technique. I'm going to, I'm going to demonstrate how lengthening this bone will keep the toe with the construct as we're lengthening. And you can see, as if you pay attention to this area, the joint will stay very intact and will not um, in any way uh, get, get jammed. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate that. So this is, as I'm lengthening the bone, you can see the metatarsal starts moving with moving with the segment of the bone. Okay, so now we can even measure this. This distance between that bone and this bone stayed the same because this segment of the bone was taking the toe with it and maintaining the joint space. This construct can help me prevent the, one of the most complications of the metatarsal lengthening, which is subluxation of the joint and uh, rising up the toe, most often the fourth toe.